vegetables are highly nutritious uh, in terms of vitamins, minerals, lycopene, calcium. So growing vegetables is an ideal uh, situation for many homeowners that might not have a lot of space and a lot of income. Uh, vegetables are very expensive, but by growing vegetables at home, whether it's tomatoes, peppers, uh, zucchinis, uh, you can actually save not only dozens, but potentially hundreds of dollars in expenses that could be used for other purposes at home. What we're trying to do here in this garden is to not only grow different vegetables, but also monitor for diseases, maybe pests, uh, other constraints in crop production such as sun scalding, fruit cracking, and other abnormalities, other obstacles to growing uh, vegetables. We are in the uh, solanaceous uh, bed. Uh, what this means is that all the plants you see here are related to one another. Uh, we have tomato, we have eggplant, uh, we have bell pepper, chili peppers, and potatoes in the back. All these plants are related. Uh, the importance of this is that to, to have a good vegetable garden, whether it's big or small, we always want to do crop rotation one year after the other so that we don't build up any diseases, uh, any pathogens that might end up causing problems with time as their population multiplies. So it's always a good idea that if you put a tomato in one spot, don't put peppers, don't put potatoes, don't put chili in the same spot. Look for something totally different, maybe a, a zucchini, maybe some beans, maybe some lettuce. So always rotate your crops and there's plenty of information on that. What you're seeing right here is our zucchini squash. And we actually have the zucchini squash growing on a raised bed on stilts. Uh, the advantage to something like this is that there are several folks that maybe because of illnesses or age cannot bend and tend the garden. But having a raised bed allows them to actually take care of that. Whether it's zucchini squash or yellow squash or chili peppers like we have in this garden. We have six varieties of tomatoes that we're going to be showing um, our public, uh, people from Amarillo and beyond, they want, they want to participate maybe in a workshop that we'll be conducting on a Saturday. And for those who can't make it on a Saturday, maybe on a weekday. And what we're going to show is, you know, different tomato types, all the way from the small cherry and grapes, all the way to the seven to eight ounce typical round tomatoes that we're used to eating. Some of these tomatoes, depending on the variety and the type, can be harvested in 50 days once they mature, or they can be harvested up to 80 days after planting. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a good time so that we can show you all the different tomatoes that we have. Maybe you can try some of them, maybe take some home, and maybe try doing tomato gardening, uh, if not this season, uh, maybe next season.